Hey, what's good guys? Calvin B back with another video for you guys today. And in today's video, we have the unboxing for the Trax mouse pad with wireless charger. Now, this one I think is going to be a good one for the office. Hopefully so. But we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Getting into the packaging, the wireless charging on this is a one amp wireless charger. It says it's compatible with QI devices most QI devices I assume. Um, it says it's universal but I'm not completely sure what universal means. Then also it says it's compact and slim. By the size of the packaging I think that <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit larger than the standard mouse pad. But moving on to the back of the packaging we see that the features it says it works with most QI devices and it also has an internal IC chip to prevent overheating which is pretty good. You don't want that to happen. You don't want your phone to get too hot. And then it also states that if you do not have a device that has a QI compatible chip in it, you actually need to get um, the, the, the receiver, the QI receiver, I mean to say. Then it actually tells you how to use the uh, mouse pad, but I think we all know how to use the mouse pad here. Uh, actually, wait a second. One thing that it says on here, it says that you got to put your phone on here without a protective case, which is going to be pretty interesting. We'll test that out to see if that actually is true, but let's go ahead and get into the unboxing here. So I'm just going to not really going to keep this box, but let's go ahead and get into this. All right. All right. Pull this out here. All right that over to the side so off the bat this actually looks shiny kind of sort of leathery the fill on it is not matte it's not it's not like the uh the rubbery texture that you would get on just like the standard mouse pad but feels like i don't know it's not like rubbery but it's it's like a smooth surface but yeah, going on the back, we actually have like a matte finish on the back. And then, okay, I see it here. I see it here. Guys, this might be a problem. This might be a problem. It might not show up. But here you see that there's a little um, symbol here. That is actually where you put your phone. And then up here you got a micro USB. So let's go ahead, put that down here. In the packaging, we also get a micro USB cable and then also your instruction manual. So, first off, let's go ahead and test out the quality of this because I have here um, like two other mouse pads just to test the quality of what I really like. And then I also have a mouse here which um, yeah, let's go ahead and see how that feels. All right, so off the bat, just moving this around, just standard like, let me actually make sure that I have this correct here. All right, all right, so the, the thing is up here. So it actually goes on this side. So yeah, the, the traction on this, it feels kind of sort of like, it feels like you get a lot of drag from it like a, you get like some tension from it. I guess it depends also on if you have like rubber stickies on the bottom, not rubber stickies, but traction pads on the bottom of here, on, on the bottom of your mouse. But it feels pretty, like it feels like it has a lot of drag to it. So that's that. Moving on to the other mouse pads, of course, uh, we have the Bitech mouse pad, which we actually looked into. This one actually feels pretty premium. Checking out the size of this, right? So this Bitech mouse pad, it actually takes up most of most of the uh, mouse pad. It actually covers the wireless charging part, unless you put it like this. But that's kind of crazy. All right, um, but as opposed to this here, as opposed to the um, Trax mouse pad, you actually get some flex from this. So you can actually pick this up and actually move it around, you know. Um, 
with this here this is a little bit lighter but you know you still get that flex from it the track mouse pad you actually it's just like stiff as a you it might as well be like a piece of cardboard with a, <laughs> with some material on the top to make it like a mouse pad but yeah um this is actually pretty short we'll see if this will this core will actually work with a wire uh, not a wireless charger but a power bank but this is pretty much everything that you get in the package you get the mouse pad you get the instruction manual and also a micro usb cord so let's go ahead and test out the uh, wireless charging all right so i got the mouse pad connected to the power bank now it's time to test the wireless charging as you guys can see here there's a red indicator that shows when the mouse pad or the wireless charging is ready for charging. So I got my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus here, which is literally almost about to die as 4%. So let's go ahead and test this out, right? So I call this the plop test mainly because I'm just going to drop my phone down. I'm in the office, I'm ready to work, and I don't have my charger. I lost it or whatever, or I don't have one. Now I just come in the office ready to work plop it down three two one zero all right so plop test number one fail let's give it three chances best two out of three I guess all right three two one zero Plop test number two, fail. <laughs> Come on, you only got one more chance, man. You only got one. I don't know why I'm talking to the mouse pad or the wireless charger, but hell, let's, let's try it again. All right, let's just try and put it down gently. Three, two, one, zero. Oh, it did work this time. Okay, it worked this time. So maybe putting it down gently is uh, what you need to do. Let's try that again. Gently put it down. Three, two, one, zero. All right, cool, cool. All right, let's try this one more time. Three, two, one, zero. All right, so it works. I figure the plop test is not a good one. You gotta gently lay it down. You gotta be delicate with it. You just gotta be like, oh. Boom, three, two, one, zero. Zero, one, zero. All right. So either way, it works. It works, but sometimes it doesn't work. So yeah. All right, so we got the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus inside the OtterBox Defender case. So let's go ahead and test and see if this works. I'm hoping it does because I really don't want to take my phone outside of the case just to charge it on the wireless pad, you know? Oh, okay, so it works, okay. So try this again, because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Just gently lay it down like before. Three, two, one, zero. and it didn't work failed all right number three let's go three two one zero okay so it work maybe two out of three two times out of three it'll work but you just got to make sure you just lay it down all delicately you know make sure you hit that that little symbol three two one okay so it works if you lay it works with the case off and it also works with the case on so that is actually good to know so that's about it for the tracks and mouse pad with wireless charging and honestly it's an okay product it's not great and it's not horrible it's just okay and you're only paying five bucks for this so you're pretty much getting what you pay for Really quickly, I'm gonna run through the things that I like about the product and the things that I don't like about the product. I know it's gonna seem unbalanced, but I stand by my decision of okay product. So, first things first. 
I like the fact that you can actually charge your phone with the case on. And the reason why I like this is because if I had to take off my case every single time I had to charge my phone with this wireless uh, charging pad, I honestly would not use the charging pad on this. I would pretty much just use my standard mouse pad, you know? So that's what I like about the product. And moving on to the things that I don't like about the product, and yeah, prime example here, right? So the wireless charging doesn't always work. Sometimes you just gotta adjust the phone or the device or just move it around and eventually it'll work, but sometimes it just doesn't work. Takes a little bit, but yeah, this is like five bucks. You really can't expect great wireless charging from this device. Like my thing, my, my quota is, or not quota, but my standard is if you put your device on a wireless charging pad and it does not start to charge within the first three seconds, then it's lacking. It's, it's lacking. It's falling behind. In this case, you know, I do my three count and it still does not come on. It, as you see, let me try and uh, pick it up and then put it back down. I don't know. It, it's just, it, I guess it's deciding not to work right now. So second dislike is actually, well, I, I guess I got to show you better than I could tell you, but... I have my mouse here, and as you guys know, I'm or probably know, I'm right-handed, all right? So I'm right-handed, now you know. But I got the mouse on the mouse pad, and I know I'm doing this behind the tripod, but, you know, this is how it actually is going to look, right? So I'm moving the mouse around, I'm doing my work, scrolling, etc. As you can see, my wrist is actually brushing up against my phone, which is... It, it it may not be an issue, but it may be an issue because this wireless charger is like finicky sometimes, you know? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes if you move it, it might, you know, stop charging. So if I have to keep readjusting the phone because my, my wrist is brushing up against the phone, knocking it off the wireless charging uh, portion, then... You know, I don't know, that that's just gonna create problems, right? That's gonna create problems. And then on top of that, this space here is not that big, right? All right, so just to give you guys a comparison, we're gonna move the phone off and we're gonna move the mouse, all right? So I have the Bitech mouse pad here, pretty premium, all right? I'm gonna lay that down. As you guys can see here, about half of the wireless charging pad is covered by this mouse pad. So this is a standard mouse pad. This is a mouse pad with wireless charging, but this standard mouse pad covers half of the wireless charging pad, right? That's not good, all right? Going on to a different mouse pad, right? Just to give you guys a understanding of this, right? If I put this down, right? And I line this up with the bottom and the sides, it still covers half of the wireless charging pad. That's a dislike mainly because one, with these two mouse pads right here, with these two standard size mouse pads, I can move around the mouse pretty much just like this, you know? Boom, I can move around the mouse and I have enough room to move it around without bumping anything. What I would have really liked is for them to actually have the mouse pad section the same size as a standard size mouse pad and then have on the side the wireless charging pad. So think about it this way, right? If I take the Bitech mouse pad and I just lay it across there like that and I line it up with the side, right? Here you can see, if I take my phone, still a little bit, a um, little bit over the wireless charging pad but as you can see I can fit my phone on here and I can also um, have the mouse pad section over here but the thing that I'm talking about is having the mouse pad section maybe a different type of material and then having the wireless charging pad maybe like this smooth surface that they have on here 
that would have been interesting. That would have been that would have added to the aesthetic of the design of the mouse pad instead of having just like a bland black mouse pad that you really can't see. You really can't tell where the wireless mouse pad is. If I cover this up, then you can't really tell. You can tell the outlines of the uh, the symbol, but you can't really tell uh, where the charging pad is. So if you never really saw the light, then you wouldn't really know unless you look for the symbol. So that would have been nice to have. But going back to the dislikes. All right, so this one is petty. Well, actually, technically, I added two into one because it was the material of the thing. Um, also, I don't know what it is about this material, but it grips. Like I said before, you can feel some tug to it. You can feel some um, drag behind the mouse. And then also, if you're moving this around, as you can see, the mouse pad, I'm not even like, I'm not even putting pressure on the mouse and the mouse pad is moving. I understand that this is a, you know, just like a plastic or hard plastic table, but still, if the mouse pad moves around, what's the point? You know, that's why you have this grip on the bottom. You know, you have the grip on the bottom of the mouse pad. But that is pretty much about it for my likes and dislikes. I'm going to rate this product at a two star out of five. Um, no half ratings, two star out of five. It's okay, but it's on the iffy side of okay, you know? But yeah, that's basically about it. If you guys happen to enjoy these videos, make sure you slap a like on it, subscribe for more content, and also turn on those post notifications. Really enjoy you guys liking the videos and supporting the channel. I really appreciate you guys for that. So shout out to you all. But don't forget to be brilliant. Stay inspired. You guys know what it is. Yes, you know what it is. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.